Hey friends, what's up? I'm back with my iPhone 3G. I did many things. I installed a white door software on it. Eh? And um, well, the coolest thing of the white door software is that um, you can you can do several uh, nice little things. You have a nice background at your apps. But also the coolest thing is that you have a video camera in your um, and it's psych order but I really love this little part here that you can just switch from picture to video and that you only have one icon that, that does the job you know so you don't have to go and scroll for psych order okay uh, I installed uh, white door software on it it's running 3.13 so um, you know this thing was jailbreak uh, before with uh, spirit but then um, I killed it and I jailbreaked it with red snow now so I can install bootlace I installed bootlace because I want to install Android on this machine just for fun this is my secondary phone and I'm like you know let's see how Android runs on this thing so what you should do is get bootlace just type bootlace in Cydia oh yeah that's also really nice um, as you can see you don't see no Cydia icon here but if you go to the App Store, if you type the App Store here, then you can see that Cydia is here. You see that? You have all these, um, this is the app market from White Door. This is the normal app market and this is Cloud. So, you know. All right, we were busy with Bootlace. We're gonna install Android. You just uh, install Bootlace. And when you install Bootlace, first thing you do, is go to um, to um, open iBoot and then you install open iBoot I already installed it you see I can remove it now and then you hit the tab uh, Android as you can see Android is not installed here so you have to install it just hit install and then it will start downloading Android um, when the download is finished um, I'll get back to you now before you're gonna hit install android you're gonna look here on top and you're gonna see the little little mark here you just open it and then you will see extract multi-touch firmware you must hit that one and then you just say extract and then you see success ex successfully extracted and then you say download wi-fi firmware and then you hit download success successfully updated the wi-fi and then you go to Android and now you hit, oops, you go to Android up here and then you hit install and now it will start to download and after everything is in, I will get back to you. Okay, Android is installed, battery is full, it's important that if you, in, if you run Android that you have extra battery pack eh, because your device will get warmer than normal and it um, will use its battery really fast so this is not to do like or to use every day this is just for fun this is just to you know to have a little enjoyment up here you can see that we have a version 2.3.3 that is gingerbread so this phone is running gingerbread yo um, and up here we can go to the boot console this is uh, this is the console uh, no you can boot up to console and to Android and here we're gonna type to start up Android do you want to it's now gonna start up in Android and now you will see your Android uh, installing and I don't know if you can read it a little bit. <laughs> you don't really have to read it, but what's going on here? It's booting up Android. This is Linux. And soon we should get the Android logo. And the first time takes longer to boot. Eh? This is uh, it's still like installing the last things and you know getting the system ready to run Android.
surprisingly you will see that uh, your battery life <laughs> might uh, go real fast on the Android there's also no market installed in this in this version so you can uh, you cannot go on market you could like try to install programs but I don't know how then you should post them on the website somewhere on the internet and then browse with the phone to the sites and then download them I think that's the only way to install APK files I'm not sure if you can connect it USB to the computer and if file um, transfer is allowed I'm not sure about that if so then it's really cool because then it's easy then you can just put the APK files that you have on your computer up to this phone and as you can see it takes a while but then you will see the little Android popping up and you guys are like is this an iPhone 3 yes an iPhone 3G and I'm not gonna remove it out of the out of the cover because I don't want it to you know to run out of battery out of nothing and that the phone goes off because the battery in the phone is not too good it's not reliable it shows full but when you when you when you make a phone call out of nothing when the phone uh, connection uh, starts boom phone goes off reboots and you're like what's what's wrong with my phone it's just the battery man because I put up this uh, external battery on my iPhone 3G and now it's not turning off anymore it's been standby for three days now so there we go here we have Android and you might experience a problem if you did not install the touch drivers but now we will have touch screen I think Yep, we have touch screen as you can see here you see that uh -huh. oops I don't know if you if you can see anything I'm doing up here you can go to the apps these are the apps and this is Android this is Android and I'm coming I'm going to show you the specs. Oops. There it comes. About this phone. And then I hope you can read it on this uh, with this camera, but this is Android 2.2.3. Hope you can see it. No, yeah. Android. Although you have no back bottom, but the back bottom is here in the corner, here on top. It's small. You just hit it and then you go back. See that? That's how to go back. And now we can install the Wi Fi. We gifted uh, the Wi-Fi driver, so the Wi-Fi will work up here. We turn on the Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi turned on. And the wireless networks. We wait. Scanning. There you go. And now I can connect to my Wi-Fi. As you see, uh, Android runs very nice on uh, old iPhone 2. Point, oh, what was it? Old iPhone 3G. I can remove it real fast for you to show you. This is it. It's the iPhone 3G. I'm gonna put it in real fast before you know it just turns off. Uh, but it's a nice phone to play with. And um, well, I'm gonna leave it on Android. I'm gonna connect to the Wi-Fi and then also the keyboard and eh? the keyboard you shouldn't think that your iPhone 3G just became faster 
let's let's be honest um, the phone is not faster now this is just for testing it's really slow in fact typing a typing a <laughs> typing my my Wi-Fi password might be like a, a little uh, <laughs> a little tricky so let me try one more time Well, it goes if you have patience and don't have to take fingers. Okay, we should be connected now. Let me see if I typed it right. <laughs> I typed nonsense. Let's go back here. Okay, this should be it. Done. Done, connect. Oops. And now it's gonna connect to the Wi-Fi. So we can go on the internet and you can start to feel at the back of the phone that it's getting warm. It's connected to the internet. Although, I must say, I have a very low, you see that? that while you know this thing has a only oh no, it just went up i can't really see it the home button also does not bring you home eh? you can forget about that you must type here to go home just step here until you get home so this is your home this rubbish you can of course delete like that and i also always delete this one oops if I'm able to yeah it's gone so this is iDroid iDroid for for window or for <laughs> yeah me for window so this is iDroid for the iPhone I really don't know how to get apps onto this thing because I don't see no apps and I cannot go to app planet anymore to get my apps Let's see, it will connect to Google. Oh, we can choose. We want to go to Google. You see, and it's working. Of course, this is very experimental. And um, not because 2.3 uh, point 0.3 runs on the phone and not because the guys uh, updated uh, the donut to gingerbread for the iPhone doesn't mean that uh, that this is still very good for the iPhone we can see um, if we can go to settings and maybe say um, annoying is that we don't have a home button and eh? we cannot go home we have to do two times this um we can also see if we can go to settings um let me see something if we go to settings and we say uh screen uh, let me see weergave it's in dutch and we say time out to turn off the screen we put it on 15 15 seconds let me see can we put it on 15 yeah it's on 15 seconds and animation uh, we say no animation all right up here we can put the brightness of the screen I would not put it too bright because the thing already uses more battery life than normal and you must be careful not to kill your battery so that's it Android on your iPhone so if you want to do this you know it's for your own risk but I don't think anything wrong should happen with your phone it's easy just uh, install 3.13 on your iPhone 2 or 3G I would go for the 3G and then um, jailbreak it with Red Snow you need version uh, 
uh, one too as well because you will have to point red snow to that ios um, to jailbreak ios 3.13 of course your phone will be uh, connected in a dfu mode uh, to your uh, computer while performing the jailbreak with red snow so that's all when you uh, start up red snow you will or when you start up cedia when everything is done when your jailbreak and the phone is booted just fine and you just go to cedia um, you let cedia update um, log in as a user and then uh, simply um, simply type bootlace bootlace and um, just type that and you will find it install it and then the rest you saw in this video what to do anyway thank you for watching this was puck and till my next video bye